Gunfire and shelling erupting in Abidjan. A city besieged and divided. One of the battlegrounds, the area around the presidential palace. Pro Bagbo forces continue to fight. They're determined to hold on to it by any means necessary. Out on the streets, gangs of youths loyal to Bagbo, known as the Young Patriots, cheered on his forces. At the cost of our blood, we are going to die so that the Republic survives. Early Saturday morning, Bagbo's troops retook the state television building. But the reality is that Ouattara's men are pushing ahead. They've already taken much of the country, and Abidjan is where they'll face the decisive stand. While forces loyal to Ouattara and Bagbo push for ultimate control, civilians are caught in the middle. More than a million people are fleeing the fighting. Tens of thousands crossing into Liberia. Others remain trapped inside Cote d'Ivoire. The Catholic charity Caritas says that over 1,000 people were killed in one town over three days. This event is particularly shocking because, first of all, of, of its magnitude and also because of its brutality. Um, and we strongly condemn direct attacks um, against civilians. As chaos sets in, looters are also taking advantage of the lawlessness in the suburbs of Abidjan. The majority of Ivorians may have voted for Ouattara, but few could have anticipated violence on this scale. As reports of more atrocities come to light, the UN has been urging for both sides to rein in their forces or face trial for crimes against humanity. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.